In this video, we're going to use both the first and second derivatives of a function to determine the basic shape of a graph. Consider the function f of x below. Over what open intervals is the function increasing? And concave up. Give your answer in interval notation. So we're going to use the first and second derivative tests here to figure out concavity and to figure out increasing, decreasing. Let's start by taking the first derivative. Take the first derivative here, four comes to the front, cancels that four, we get x cubed. Three comes down, cancels the three, we get 29 x squared. Two comes to the front, that's plus 280 x. And then we take the derivative of 900, we get plus 900. So, if I want to solve that, let's see. Well, I could try to divide by something here to simplify the little farther. Let's just find the second derivative real quick while we're at it. And we can find inflection points, so that'd be 3x squared plus bring the 2 to the front, that'd be uh, 58x uh, plus 280. And then, let's see, we're going to set each of these equal to 0. So let's start by setting the first derivative equal to 0. We're going to say 0 equals x cubed plus 29x squared plus 280 x plus 900. Now we could factor that uh, cubic. Yeah, we could factor that cubic. Let's see if we can get that figured out. We know that the, uh, we could use the rational zeros test here. So one times 900. Um, we're gonna do that here. One times 900. Uh, gives you 900. So then we're going to say, well, we're going to say that this is P. This is Q. So we've got P is plus and minus 1. Sorry, switch that around. This is Q. This is P. So P is plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2, plus and minus 3. Then, let's see, 900 divided by 4. Yep, plus and minus 4. Let's see, plus and minus 5. Plus and minus 6. Um, let's see. Let's go plus and minus. I don't think seven, seven works. Nope. Eight. So nine would work, plus or minus nine. I'm going to kind of stop there. That's a, quite a few to test. Q is plus or minus 1, so we're going to do P over Q for this. So to do P over Q, we're going to go ahead and say that this would be just the same as P, right? Because if we take P divided by Q, we're going to have 1 divided by 1, 2 divided by 1, 3 divided by 1, 4 divided by 1, and so on and so forth. So P over Q is just P. And then let's test some. And I'm actually going to go out on a limb and say, I'm wondering if 9 works here. So we're going to go ahead and say, uh, f of, I want to check f prime of 9. See if I get a 0. So remember, this is the rational zeros test. So I'm going to type in x cubed plus 
29x squared plus 280x plus 900. And then I'm going to say 9 store as x. And that doesn't work. So now I'm going to try, so uh, no zero. I'm just going to put a slash there. So let's try f prime of negative 9. So let's do negative 9. And I get zero. So I just kind of went out of limb and thought that 9 or negative 9 might work. But basically you just go through and you test each of these until you find one that works so that you can do this factoring. So I've got uh, negative nine, and I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're gonna do uh, synthetic division. So I'm gonna say negative nine, 129, 280, 900. So we're gonna bring the one down. 1 times negative 9, negative 9, add that, that's 20, that's a negative 180, add it, that's 100, take that times that, that'd be 900, so my remainder is 0, so I end up with x squared plus 20x plus 100 equals 0. This actually factors to x plus 10 uh, times x plus 10, which would be x plus 10 squared equals 0. So my overall, I've got this negative 9, which is a factor. I've got x squared, x plus 10 squared, which is two more factors. So this piece, I'm going to write that here, 0 equals x cubed plus 29x squared plus 280x plus 900 actually factors to 0x plus 9, x plus 10 squared. So now I can use ZPP and say that x plus 9 is equal to 0 or x plus 10 squared equal to 0. I subtract the 9, I get x equal negative 9 or subtract or square this and then subtract 10, I get x equal negative 10. So now let's try to do the first derivative test here. So I've got, uh, these are critical points, right? I've got negative 10 and negative 9, and I'm going to test negative 11. I'm going to write that up here, negative 11, and let's just test 0, and then I'm going to test negative 9.5. And I'm testing them into the first derivative, which I already have in here. So I'm going to plug in negative 11. So I'm doing, let's slide up a little bit, I'm doing f. Uh, prime of negative 11, and I'm seeing is it positive or negative? So we're going to do negative 11 stores x, and I'm just plugging into the function, I get negative 2. So that's negative here. And then I'm going to plug in negative 9.5. I also get a negative. And then I'm going to get and we'll plug in zero. And I get 900. So I did F prime of negative 9.5. That was negative 0.125. And then I did F prime of zero, and I got a positive 900. So they ask us at the beginning, let's kind of slide this down a little bit. They ask us at the beginning, uh, they want uh, function increasing and concave up. So we're increasing from negative 9 to infinity right now. So now we just need to check, is that where it's concave up? So to do that, I'm going to take the second derivative and set it equal to 0. So 0 equals 3x squared plus 58x plus 280 and divide each of these by 3. I think 58, does 58 divide by 3? Nope, it does not. So maybe I'm not going to divide that. 
Uh, let's factor it. See what happens when we factor this thing. So, um, let's take three times 280. We can factor by grouping here. Yeah, let's factor by grouping. So we have three times 200, 280. And that gives us 840. I want to find factors of 840 that add to 58. So let's see. Let's do 28. Ooh, 20. Okay, 28 times 30. 28 times 30 actually gives you 840. So this actually breaks down to 28 and 30. Took a good guess there. So this was this will be 3x squared. We're going to say plus 30x plus 28x plus 280. And then I'm going to factor by grouping here. So when I factor this out, I get 0 equals factor a 3 out. That leaves me with x plus 10, oop, 3x out, that's x plus 10, plus factor 28 out, and you get x plus 10 here. Factor x plus 10 out, and we have x plus 10, and that's 3x plus 28 is equal to 0. 0 product property, so we have x plus 10 equals 0, or... 3x plus 28 equals 0. Subtract the 10, x equals negative 10. Or subtract the 28 and divide by 3, we get x equals negative 28 over 3. So we've got two inflection points here, or at least we think. We're going to do the second derivative test. So we're going to pick, let's see, that'd be negative. So this is negative 10. This is just above negative 9, so it's negative 28 over 3. We're going to test negative 29 over 3. We're going to test 0, and we're going to test negative 12. So I'm going to plug in the second derivative this time, so 3x squared plus 58x plus 280. And then I'm going to plug in each of these numbers. So I'm doing F double prime of negative 12, F double prime of negative 29 over 3, and then F double prime of 0. Okay? Now, I plug in negative 12 I get 16 so we've got concave up here and then I plug in negative 29 over 3 so we got concave down right here and then I'm gonna plug in 0 Let's see here. And we get positive, so we have concave up there. So we're actually concave up just a little left of negative 9, because negative 9 would be right here. And the reason I keep pointing out negative 9 is our increasing part was negative 9 to infinity. So we're concave up from, we're increasing from negative 9 to infinity, and we're concave up during that negative 9 to infinity. So this is actually our solution right here, negative 9 to infinity.